What is up, Rap Potential YouTube, and welcome to today's video where I clean a whole lot of stuff for the bottom of this car. So, if you watched the last video, to start out, I'm going to tear down this axle really quick, which you guys will see. I'm going to clean all of the brake lines really quick, which you guys will not really see because the time lapse of me wiping down a brake line isn't exactly that well rowdy. I am going to go rob the upper links off of the 99 car because they're straight and these are bent. We're going to replace the bent ones with straight ones because we do sort of that sort of thing here. Um, because I have them and they're easy to get to. So we're going to do that, which means i got to burn those bushings out again. Not a big deal. And then uh, we're also going to tear down the front suspension. So enjoy some uh, music, audio, library, satisfaction, me taking this stuff apart and then uh we'll be painting it after i get it tore down so let's uh let's get after it
What's up guys? We are back with a substantial amount of cleaning and painting and stuff done that hopefully um, y'all can see the effort that went in this week on the car. So we've got the most satisfying looking contrast on the bottom of a car ever. We got black fender wells, the rest of the car perfectly white. We've got the axle, this side of it as much as I can reach is drying over here. We'll flip it back over once the paint's dry and paint the other side. I still got to do the gas tank, but that'll be easy. And it doesn't have to go on the car right away, so I can do that Sunday. Just spray it. Um, I got a majority of this stuff touched up. I need to pop these things off still, which I said right in the video. But um, the main thing is I wanted to get a majority of this touched up and especially get painted up in here. Um, because whenever I respray the other side of the engine bay, or the regular side of the engine bay, I can tape that off and then you'll never, I don't have to worry about it going back and forth, but still got to touch up the clean, just this little area. We'll get that touched up before it comes off the rotisserie um, tomorrow, but for tonight, it's getting late and uh, it's getting late. So we got calipers and caliper brackets all painted. Um, there's this like aluminum paint. It's silver, like aluminum paint. It's not glossy. It's not anything fancy. Um, and I prefer to use that because it's it just seems to adhere really well. It's what I did the convertible, um, my FC. It's what I did all those calipers in. And that held up super awesome on the street. And it was easy to just clean it off. So that's what that is. But I'm mega stoked with this. I still got to spray down the pumpkin. But whenever I flip the diff over, I'll just set the pumpkin in there. And paint it and then it'll be good to go and I painted this side of the uh, the brake caliper bracket so I'll take these and hang them um, over here somewhere and we'll spray the other side of them really quick that's already prepped it just needs that's just what I could reach them sitting on the table so get stoked because this weekend we're gonna have some mad progress on the car and I am excited to uh, my goal is Sunday, not all day, so Sunday all day, the plan is to get this axle, not quite assembled, but pretty much assembled, because I want the whole car on the ground by the end of the day, but we're going to get the axle onto the car, we're going to film a video about the suspension links, my uh, suspension bushing kit should be here tomorrow, um, per FedEx, we'll film that video with an empty axle housing, and then we'll put the axle in, get the car on the ground. At least in the rear will be ready to. I need to get my engine hoist back um, from Dan. The front, I need to paint the bottom of the K-member. We'll finish spraying the engine bay Saturday afternoon and put that back together. And the rest of this stuff will get touched up and put back on. So I still need to um, basically just clean and paint the little section of the front spindles at the bottom. So just this little black section. We'll get that all wire wheeled and fresh and clean. Get some fresh black on it and it'll look super mint. And then that way when we put the calipers on... We put these back on the car, put the tension rods back on the car. The only thing that'll look crummy is the brake rotors. And I'm not too keen to replace them. They're in good shape. I'm not too keen to like go paint them because it's going to get hot and cook the paint off. So it's just a temporary paint thing, and you really can't see the brake rotors anyways. So no, I'm not going to spray the whole rotor black and then just go hit the brakes once so it cleans it off. Um, I'd rather just clean them up the best I can and put them back on. Same in the rear. Um, Y'all understand it's a consumable part. It's not something that needs to look perfectly mint So and they'll look fine once you start driving especially next to this car. If that's the worst thing on it Then so be it So the trans is already clean the engine could use a little bit of cleanup But with that the next video this car will be on the ground And I say the next video we'll say the next video about the car will be on the ground There will be a video about suspension um, coming in the, in between those, but the next video about the car, this thing will be sitting on the ground, most likely with the engine and trans sitting in it because it's super easy to put those in, and I just need them sitting in there because then they're off the floor whenever we go to do all of the rest of the body work um, because it's not that we're that close to getting this done. We still got to clean the whole inside. Got to put the interior back in after it's painted. We got to paint the whole outside of the car yet, and then... Once all that paint work's done, then we get to put it together. And i got to make a new exhaust. So, a lot of work yet to come, but the bottom of the car is finished, and we're ready to put this thing together. So, I appreciate all you guys watching. 
Um, especially those of you who subscribe, we are making huge strides. So my goal, subscriber goal for the year was to get a thousand and we've well exceeded that. So I think my new goal for the end of this year, the next two months, maybe 1600, 1700, but get stoked next year by the end of the year. I think I want to get like 10,000 maybe. I don't know. Y'all got to help me find more people that are interested in these things, which I don't really do a crazy job sharing and promoting this stuff on my social media, but, um, you know, I figure people will find it eventually. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of this and learn more about these cars. And then, um, we're going to get started on some other major projects here shortly that aren't cars. So get stoked for that. Some bike stuff. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a happy Halloween. Scare some people. Keep it rad. We'll see you next time.